Hello students, in this class I will be discussing about the topic that is origin of religion in pre-modern society. This is a part of your UPSC civil service sociology syllabus. So what are the different religions which were existing in pre-modern society that will be discussed in this context. What is pre-modern society? Pre-modern means prior to the advent of modernity the society that was existing in different parts of the world that is called pre-modern society. So regarding the origin or genesis of religion in pre-modern society, different sociologists and anthropologists, they have developed their, their views how religion, different religions were originated in those societies. And in this context, I will be discussing certain religions like animism, animatism, naturism, Totemism, Monoism. These are the different religions which were originated in different parts of the world before the advent of the modernity. First of all, I would like to tell you the fact that our sociologists as well as anthropologists, they are of the opinion that religion came into genesis or origin because of two different types of needs. First is the intellectual needs of human being and regarding the intellectual needs of religion, human being, religion came into existence. Anthropologists and sociologists, those who develop their views, they are like your E.B. Tyler, Herbert Spencer, R.R. Marriott as well as Max Muller. They say that religion came into existence because of the intellectual needs of human beings, particularly the primitive people. On the other hand, there are anthropologists like B.K. Malinowski, a social anthropologist of Britain, who is of the opinion that religion came into genesis because of the emotional needs of human being. So let us make a discussion related to both the intellectual need as well as emotional needs of primitive people for which religion came into existence in different parts of the world before the advent of the modernity. First you come to animism. Animism as a theory related to origin of religion was developed by E.B. Tyler and supported by Herbert Spencer. E.B. Tyler is of the opinion that when civilization was not developed, logical and rational thought was not daunt. Man was living in primitivity. At that point of time, primitive human being experienced dream. In the dream, he started interacting with his dead ancestor. But while dream was over, he came to alertness, awareness. Then he started thinking by applying his level of his level of intellect, okay, ancestor is dead, but in the dream, ancestor came to my home, gave me this instruction, gave me that instruction, told me to get the things done in this way, get the thing done in that way. So, in this way, by applying his level of intellect, the primitive human being jumped into the conclusion that, yes, Ancestor is dead, but ancestor has a spirit. 
that spirit never ever dies even after death of the ancestor and the primitive man started thinking that spirit is harmful by nature so this spirit must be pleased this spirit must be propitiated this spirit must be placated so that negative consequences of the spirit will be overcome that's the reason the earliest form of religion came into existence in form of worshipping the spirit of the dead ancestor thus ibn taylor says tomb is the first temple and ancestor is the first god i am repeating tomb is the first temple and ancestor is the first god Herbert Spencer also supported this theory of animism given by Tyler and I am making a derivation of animism anima plus is in that is called animism anima means harmful spirit is in means philosophy or approach so the approach of worshipping the harmful spirit keeping in mind that the harmful consequences of spirit will be overcome is called animism next theory related to origin of religion in pre modern society is animism this theory was developed by rr merit rr merit is of the opinion that the primitive person could not find any distinction between living being and a non living being he started thinking that both living being as well as non living being has a spirit and spirit by nature is harmful as well as helpful so primitive person started worshiping spirit keeping in mind that the negative consequences of spirit will be overcome and the positive consequences of spirit will be solicited or brought to the society so this is animism the theory related to origin of religion given by merit next theory is naturalism given by max muller what is the derivation of naturalism just make a derivation nature plus is it that is called naturalism nature means natural object is it means philosophy or approach so the philosophy or approach of worshiping different natural objects like river like jungle like moon like hills like mountains that is called naturalism so max muller a german scholar is of the opinion that while civilization was not dawned man was living in primitivity man was wandering in jungle in nude condition at that point of time he experienced the havoc of the nature sometimes there was a severe cyclone sometimes there was a flood of unprecedented magnitude sometimes there was a rainfall in a ceaseless manner for 7-8 days there was a forest fire in these situations when the nature demonstrated its havoc human being felt very helpless so human being started thinking that nature has unlimited power he himself had limited power so as he started thinking natural natural objects are having unlimited power so he simply started worshiping natural object that's the reason religion came into existence then totemism is also another theory related to religion origin of religion in pre modern society discussed and developed by professor emil durkheim the first professor of sociology all over the world what totemism is all about in other classes i have made a detailed discussion the next theory related to origin of religion in pre modern societies is monoism monoism the theory given by majumdar what monoism is all about that also i have discussed in some other classes so these are the different things for which 
religion came into existence you see because of intellectual needs human being came into uh, intellectual needs of human being religion came into existence this is ibn taylor max muller are are married who discussed and at the same time here is a Branislaw Kapsar Malinowski, B.K. Malinowski, an anthropologist of Britain, who says no, because of emotional need of human being, religion came into existence. For that purpose, B.K. Malinowski conducted studies in Trabriand Island, in Western Pacific Ocean. There, he observed the fact that while the Islanders, people living in Trabriand Island, they are going for, they are going for fishing in seas, in ocean, they adopt certain religious practices. They think as they have adopted religious practices as well as magical practices, they will be saved even if fishing in seas is, sea is full of risk. So these are the different theories with respect to origin or genesis of religion in pre-modern society. And again I am repeating the theories are namely animism, animatism, naturism, totemism, monoism and others. This is all about the topic. Let me wind up the class. Thank you. Thank you for attending this.